my name is Bella and I'm from Vietnam. My name is Eduard, I'm from Russia. My name is Amber, I come from China. My name is Steven, I come from Taiwan. My name is Bei, I came from Mongolia. I'm from Japan, and my name is Yusuke. I'm Kim and I'm from the Philippines. My name is Jun, I'm from Korea. <laughs> In Vietnam, yes, we celebrate Valentine's not only for a couple, but I mean someone who is single, they can celebrate Valentine's with best friend or family. Yes, of course. Many people uh, celebrate holiday in Russia. Usually we take part in these events. People exchange gifts. Yeah, breakfast and girlfriend together, eat dinner, and go to the cinema. Uh, yes, we do celebrate Valentine's Day with folks. Going to the movies, having dinner with your loved ones. In Korea, usually women give chocolate to men. We send chocolate or flower movie. <laughs> no. no, no. <laughs> yes, actually we celebrate or just have the culture to celebrate uh, St. Valentine's Day. But uh, St. Valentine's Day is just for couple. If you talk about European countries, I think it's the same. In the Philippines, there's a creative twist to it. It's not only about the couples or the people who have special someone, it's also about the single people. I see a lot of posts on social media offering their services to couples who are going on dates. The single people will be the ones to take pictures or film them for a short video for flower delivery. Professional third wheeling. I think uh, the same, same as other countries. They go into the special day and they uh, present each other the like heart shaped chocolate. Basically, the woman give a present to boyfriends or any friends. But on the contrary, we have return day. So I mean, Saint Valentine's Day is February 14th. Return day is in March 14th in our culture. But so in this day, March 14th, uh, we, uh, especially guys, uh, give some presents or some chocolate or cookie to girlfriends or the, any friends for return. I found the experience the typical uh, Japanese uh, like Valentine's Day mm -hmm. because uh, usually we I spend the Valentine's Day on, only get a present from my girlfriend mm -hmm. and also I gave I give a present mm -hmm. to my girlfriend so that's like swipe uh -huh. swiping the presents with uh -huh. each other. I have a chance. Uh, I will be celebrate in Paris. It will be picnic with my girlfriend. <laughs> this is really interesting. In my case. The bad periods and the good periods happen in the same times. Because last Valentine's, my boyfriend broke up with me. <laughs> but after that, at the same day, my sister gave me one thing. This is the gift for Valentine's. This is the mirror. And when I see myself in the mirror, I know that I need to love myself first. Because a lot of people in the world always find the true love around the world, but forgot love yourself. I'm sorry to say, in my case, I have no experience to receive chocolate. <laughs> so, um, dream Valentine celebration is receive receive chocolate <laughs> and date with some girlfriend. Ah. Yeah. Last year was my first experience of Valentine's Day with somebody special. My boyfriend surprised me with a beautiful bouquet of flowers. He also gifted me with a blouse. the love life because it's not only about the one man and woman love, it's also about the family and friends love. Love life is most important. It's difficult to find the one suitable for me, yeah. Uh -huh. But I think career just try and try and which I really love is most important. The both of them of course important for me, mm -hmm. but generally speaking uh, we retire from our job after 6, 70 years old or 60 years old. So come to think of it, after the retirement, we have just only family. So family, of course, is related to the love. So finally, we need love. In my case, just flowing the life. Don't get me wrong, okay? It, yeah, career is really important with the people. But in my case, if my love came first, yeah, I accept it because if I lose my chance, chance in Korea, so I can find it in the future. But if I lose my true love, I cannot find it in the future. Not to sound shallow, but I'd say I choose love life because if you have a supportive partner and if you have a stable relationship, you can draw inspiration from that to do well in your career.